Hi everybody, happy Dollar Tree Day. I am here, it is Saturday afternoon. I have worked for the last seven days straight and I almost wasn't even gonna make, make this video today. I didn't even think I had the time to do it, but I am going to show you everything that I have in front of me as quickly as I can so that I can try to gear up the rest of my uh, day toward getting things ready to start Monday all over again and a possible work day tomorrow. It is Valentine's Day coming upon us so the flower shop is extraordinarily busy and we are getting slammed. Um, so without a further explanation on the whole scheduling that I've got going on in my life. I have so much stuff in front of me. It's kind of been compiling. If you watched watch my last two Dollar Trees, I've kind of held back some items so that I could save it for another haul um, just to kind of cut the time and also to categorize the things that I have and show them to you all at once. And um, so I have quite a bit of stuff here for the the last week and a half to two weeks that I want to show you guys. I will start with the yarn. I showed you a couple of hauls ago that the yarn at the Dollar Tree is popping up all over the place in the Crafter Square section and my mom likes to knit so I have gotten her a considerable amount of yarn in the last few days and I found some more colors for her so I picked these up as well and this is the Just Yarn brand. And this is that beautiful, beautiful, really light gray with the light pink in it with the little pom-poms. Just Yarn is a brand that is more expensive than a dollar. I can tell you that if you look it up. And um, that's it. So two of these skeins of yarn here in this color. Then I also got this color, which is my favorite mixture between the two colors. It's that beautiful like corally peach looking with the blue flecks in it and some really really light yellow with some little of those pom-pom features on it and this one is my favorite if she makes me a scarf in these colors I will wear it every single day it's so beautiful so I got her those as well then on the along the lines of my own crafting you know obsessions i love to make wreaths as we know if you watch my videos and they have been showing up with these bamboo wreaths quite often in the um crafting section at the dollar tree so i've never gotten this type before and i thought i would get it to embellish it with some you know spring flowers around it and to put some possibly a centerpiece in the middle we'll see what happens with it I'll probably craft this um, particular wreath for maybe Easter I kind of have been trying to hold back on the wreath making the last few um, weeks because I made a considerable amount of wreaths for Christmas if you watched my videos uh, pertaining to the holidays I have I have an unbelievable amount of wreaths up on my third floor that I have um, hung on the walls. It looks like a floor shop up there with all of my creativity and my wreath making. It's unbelievable, but I do love to make wreaths and I'm probably going to make some more for Easter, so let's just be honest about that. So I grabbed that, never used it before, but we'll see if um, I like it or if I'll cover it up with just a lot of embellishment so that you can't even see the bamboo. Then I thought these were kind of cool. These are the faux moss stones, which I've never seen before, and there's 10 pieces in here. So I thought that I would incorporate these with maybe some eggs and things like that around the bamboo wreath, add in some flowers around it. Um, and just make it kind of like a really earthy Easter wreath. So I grabbed those and that's a different shape. They do have a lot of moss stuff, um, but I've definitely never seen the moss stones. So there you go, we'll try those and see how that comes out. And also these right here, I think are so neat. And um, oh, I wanted to grab a piece of paper so I could try one for you but these right here 
these markers they are from the jot brand and they're liquid outline markers so i got one in blue with a little sparkle to it this one in the silver and in the gold and so i will include a picture at the end of what it comes out like to write with these instead of trying to find a piece of paper right now and do it right now um but it's supposed to have like an outline with the color in the middle with just using this one marker so i thought that that was neat it was a different concept and i just wanted to grab them and try them so i grabbed these three colors because that's all i found at the moment so i can't wait to try those and i'll show you the picture at the end of this to what it writes like then i also grabbed i grabbed some glue sticks because the wreath making is coming back around so i needed some hot glue um for my little hot glue gun and i grabbed the crafter square brand there's 20 pieces in here of the mini glue sticks which is good because i think there is a package at walmart that i used to get with 50 pieces for like close to four dollars i think or something like that so there's 20 pieces in here for a dollar and um so and it's convenient because i'm all, always at the dollar tree so i just grabbed them there to add to my stash now i have a decent amount of stickers for some reason this time around like the sticker section was serious business there was so many new sticker options to choose from i'm probably going to show you these right here and then as i continue pulling through the pile down here i'll hit some more in a few minutes but you know I have to have these. They're giraffes. And if you watch my videos and you know me, giraffes have always been like a really big themed animal in my world. My son's, you know, childhood room, his his costumes when he was a younger baby um, were giraffes and things like that. And we've always had a ton of like stuffed animals and giraffes. I collect things with giraffes on it, pictures, artwork, things like that. So this is um, a 16 piece cute little set of giraffes. And I think that they are adorable. They are so cute. There's even some little little hearts with the giraffe print on it there to use um, and I grabbed two of them because I just thought that they were the sweetest thing I've ever seen and then I grabbed these because I kind of wanted to bite them right off the paper and there this one is a 16 count also and they're just little candies like a star shaped donut the heart shaped donut the lollipops and they're so visu visually pleasing and bright and colorful. I just, I absolutely loved them. And I do a lot of like letter writing still, even though that's like an old school thing. I write a lot of letters. I send out a lot of like cards and things like that during the holidays. Um, and I like to dress up the envelopes and sometimes I'll put the stickers on the piece of paper inside the envelope. I still love to do things like that and mail people things. So I do do a lot of stickers for those reasons. Plus, when I am into my scrapbooking and stuff like that, I use stickers to embellish the pages. So I just, at the sticker section, I'm telling you, if you guys are looking for like art projects or just, you know, starting like pen pal type of situations and stuff like that um, between the kids since they don't see each other as often, as they would if they were in normal schooling hours have them write to their friends during the week it, it's a fun activity it will help with their writing skills and things like that how to form um, letter writing and things like that know people's addresses um, it's really good for them so that's like a really good project to do with your kids is like letter writing every week and now a few things from Valentine's Day. These I found and they were totally different. I haven't really been buying too many other things pertaining to just Valentine's Day alone um, because I kind of just, I got what I needed and so I didn't want to have to um, buy any more to decorate or anything like that. But I did find these and I thought that they were really neat. There's a two piece for a dollar and one says you 
um, wait, you are so loved. And they're just little tiny thin wooden hearts. And then this one says, you are my person. So I would separate these because they're connected with a wire, but I would separate these and just kind of maybe use it in my wreath making if I was to make um, for Valentine's Day some wreaths and stuff like that. Maybe next year I'll save these for that type of like a craft or something like that. And then I got this one, which is also the same, the two pieces for the dollar. This one says, all I need is love. And they're just pretty. Um, and it, this one says, I picked you. So I think that's cute. And then they had a third option. And that was kind of like a lilac purple. And I can't remember what it said on it. But there were three different types of sets of these. And I just got those two. So, alright. I've already gone down to the other. Sorry, I'm moving you guys all over the place. There you go. Um, so I got down to the other stickers here. So I just wanted to show you these. You guys are wiggling and jiggling all over the place. It's because my tripod was sitting on top of the pile of stickers that I had on the floor in front of me. So sorry about that. I also got these stickers to embellish, um, my envelopes and things like that. And there's just a ton of these beautiful shimmery hearts. Um, so pretty and this one is a big set so it's 50 pieces and they're just really really pretty like pastel -y, um, shimmery shiny hearts which I think are beauteous and then I got this sticker book and this one is kind of cool I used to always have sticker books when I was like a little girl I used to get tons of like um, sets of stickers, but then I would get like a notebook or something and I would put all of my favorite stickers on the pages and like draw around them and stuff and make like little collages with my stickers. And so this book right here, there's 250 plus stickers on here and I love all the colors, you know, that are on this little booklet just from the outside standpoint. But then inside are all these really, really cute stickers all over here. I'm not going to show you every single page, but they are terribly cute. The stickers that are in here. So if you get this for a kid, I mean, that's, that's a pretty fun little activity to do, you know, pick out your stickers and then you could even have them like write sentences and then stick one of the things that they could like I went roller skating today but instead of writing the word roller skating they can put the roller skate in the spot where roller skating um would have been spelled out and make like picture sentences you know just try to get creative with it give them some neat and different ideas for activities and learning so I said I wasn't going to show you all the pages, but I might as well because I'm on a roll. And then this is my, one of my favorite pages because there's all mermaids in there. And this one here. Um, let me see. And then I think this one would be my favorite other page because of that camera right there. I love the camera sticker and the roller skate. I used to go roller skating um, every Friday and Saturday night through my teenage years and then I would go ice skating on Sundays at the local ice skating rink and even as an adult I started going roller skating I think it was like 27 I went started going back to my roller skating rink that I grew up going to every Thursday night which was adult night and I did it for like a good like five years every Thursday night for two and a half hours and I miss it so much and I wish I had never stopped um, having that incorporated in my week because now I'm almost 40 and if I ever got on those roller skates again it probably would not be pretty so um, but I love the roller skate stickers in here so that's the booklet and there's a ton of stickers to choose from that you could think of all kinds of things to do with that then I got these stickers right here, which 
are more geared toward like planners and stuff. I don't do a planner. I'm not a planner type of person. I am a notebook and pen type of person to keep my notes, my, my, you know, all of my daily jot down things that I need to write, bills, budgets, things like that. But I liked the stickers just on the outside and there's 348 pieces in here. And I loved all the unicorn and I love all the words. So this is a really cute booklet for people that do like planners. Oh, and I, I love those iridescent hearts. Those are so, so pretty. Um, and then the rest of them are really cute planner stickers. So if anybody's into planning, they have a a bunch of different sets of these I think a few hauls ago I hauled the ones that had like the dogs on the front and this time I found the one that had the unicorns on the front so I grabbed those then I got this for my goddaughter to which I'm finally gonna be seeing tomorrow hopefully if it's nice out so that we can see her outside and outdoor setting I have to bring all of her things that I've picked up for her um, to her before Valentine's Day. There's 150 stickers on here, and of course they are all the trolls. And she loves trolls, and the Dollar Tree has got a ton of things that have popped up in the last few months pertaining to trolls. So anything that I see that has trolls on it, I just naturally grab it for her because she loves them. And then these. I think that these are the last stickers. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. This is a 12 piece and they're kind of like that 3D, but will you look at these animals on here? How sweet are they? So when I get like back into scrapbooking and stuff, I would definitely use these for like a theme if like we went to the zoo. I have so many pictures of Isaiah's life that I plan on uh, organizing into scrapbooks and embellishing. And so um, somewhere in the future when I can get to all of the scrapbooking things that I want to do, I would use this on like a zoo day or something like that. Like when we've gone to the zoo and all the pictures that I'm going to incorporate on those pages for that, I would use those. But I thought that those were so sweet. Then I grabbed a couple of cards and I actually bought one for my mom to give to me just because I liked the outside of it. Um, this is not it actually I grabbed the wrong one I grabbed this one and it says to my sweet daughter but I loved the heart balloons and I love that cute little um, I, I would say it's a porcupine or something like that um, she's really she is just terribly cute and these are their dollar handmade um, cards from the voila brand they usually like just on a stand free floating usually around the store somewhere wherever they position them in your local store and they're the dollar ones but they always have like the really 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 cute front covers on them and then the inside it says hedge hugs oh it's a hedgehog thank you very much um hedge hugs and kisses happy valentine's day and then it comes with the envelope inside of the um plastic wrap that's around it so i grabbed this for her to give to me because i saw it and i loved it and i just want to put it up for valentine's day so i grabbed that then i grabbed this one just because i loved the camera on it and i love the blue sparkly paper that the camera is on it's just a really pretty card we just click happy valentine's day and then on the inside it says i can't picture life without you with a really cute polka dot border around it and the envelope inside so check out your dollar section too i always get my cards at the dollar tree always hands down um they're either a dollar or 50 cents each depending on what sides um so pay attention if you know you are looking for the 50 cent cards look above you to make sure that you're looking at the two for a dollar ones because they're there but i always buy my cards from there because you really can't beat it and um they they have a really large selection for all different categories and it's just 
it's just a better buy. So I got this package also because I like to send out thank you cards to people that are, you know, just touch me. You know, I could see somebody and they might say something that hits me emotionally or spiritually or whatever. And if if it's something that's impacted me in some way, I like to tell them that. And I like to tell them that my time with them, you know, was was appreciated and so I do send out a lot of thank you cards so I keep these on hand and this is a card that I have not seen there and it comes in this package of eight thank you cards for one dollar with that on there so in the back it says it's blank inside but these are from Hallmark Expressions and they have a ton of packaged cards in the card section so I grabbed that because I love the green background and the purple. Green and purple to me go so beautifully together. Kind of like gray and pink go really beautifully together. So I grabbed that. Then, where should I go? Where should I go? I did grab this from, from the Valentine's Day section because this was totally different than I had seen before. So this is the color your own decorations I know it says decor but if you watch my videos you know I don't like that word and it comes with these little wooden cutouts and I saw the gnome in there and even though it comes with these four markers if you wanted to just grab another package of markers honestly and put them with this that's two dollars to give to somebody to like have a crafting afternoon and just like be relaxed and doodle around for the day and color these really really cute wooden cutouts and it looks like behind that I would open this but I don't know if I'm going to give it away as a gift yet or if I'm going to keep it for myself so I'm not going to open the packaging but behind it it looks like it's like a car and it also has gnomes in it and it's a larger piece than the gnome in the front so I thought that was so cute for a dollar it does come with the four markers but I'm telling you they have so many packages of markers at the Dollar Tree just grab one if you want more color options and give it with that and it's two dollars for you know a few hours of like just coloring which is like very relaxing and fun and it's also entertaining for kids so there you go with that now videos I don't have too many of these I don't think I may have just this one actually in this particular pile but this is reading rainbow and if you've watched my last few hauls I've talked about like having dyslexia um, and stuff like that and reading having been difficult for me for a really long time it's something that I have to work on every single day um, reading writing things like that but reading rainbow was a huge 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 popular program i don't know if it may still be now i'm not quite sure but reading rainbow was a show that i watched as i was growing up i think it was on pbs kids and um i i just loved it uh and i saw this video at the dollar tree and i had to have it so it just says that the classic children's series that brings great books to life includes two favorite episodes and it looks like those are the two on here so for nostalgic you know nostalgic reasons i grabbed this for myself but i'm gonna pass it off to like my grandchild someday i'll put it in that bin upstairs my stash of things that i'm collecting for you know if I have a grandbaby someday or it will end up in somebody else's hands that um, would appreciate it at some point if I don't have any grandbabies so I was excited to have found that then and then and then and then and then then just kind of bouncing around I found these cupcake cups and I have not had a lot of time to bake lately but when I see cute things like this, you know I have to get it because my intention is to bake. I love to bake. I don't really even enjoy eating it. It's just the therapy of baking and decorating a cupcake, decorating, a, you know, a cake that I make or cookies or whatever. So I do have like a lot of baking stuff and um, I haven't been able to use it for a while because all I've been doing is working a lot. But this is a 36 count and these 
this is a, a company called Dylan's Candy Bar and they just have a really really cute cupcake tins in there with all of the candies all over it and there's a 36 count for a dollar so I grabbed those to add to my baking stash then I also grabbed from in front of me this I can just kind of like pull up there is this brand in the makeup section that is killer and if you haven't noticed yet I have lipstick on ta -da! which is odd for me because I generally don't wear any makeup um, just normally in everyday life but I did buy this lipstick because this would be the color that I would wear if I was to wear makeup on a regular basis and um, it was a brand called Broadway I hauled it quite a few hauls ago so I've been wearing this lipstick almost daily because I tried it on and I absolutely loved it so now I'm obsessed with it then I went back to the Dollar Tree a few days ago and I found more in this brand called Broadway um, and it's matte lip liqueur and this is just I think like a colored like lip gloss so I got this one which is a really really pretty pink I got this one which is like a peachy like nudish color I don't I don't even know what to call it because I'm like I'm not a makeup person at all but there was five to choose from the only one that I did not get was a really really dark like brown one I think but I did get the four instead of just showing you them like all separated I'll just show you this one is like a purple like a really dark purple grape and then that one is more a nude one with a little shimmer in it so I got these and I cannot wait to try them because if any type of lipstick I wear it usually is like a colored lip gloss if I do wear it even though this one is definitely like my favorite favorite that I've bought in a long time so I went back and I found another one so this is the one that I actually have on my lips right now I just bought a second one of the same because I loved it so much so it's kind of like that purpley, that purple, purplish pink, like fuchsia um, or whatever. But then I grabbed, so I grabbed, actually I grabbed, I grabbed two of those just so that I would never run out. Apparently I didn't even realize I did that. So now with the one that I have open, I have three of these in that color. That's what's on the lips today. And then I grabbed this one which is kind of just like a neutral cream, but they're so soft. They're so creamy. They are, I don't know where this brand came from. I've never seen it before anywhere, but it is a great brand and I'm so excited that I found it. Um, and it's definitely got me into lipstick in the last like week. So I grabbed that. Then I also grabbed these. And these are from the Freeman brand and I found a whole box of these probably because people are like buying up stuff for Valentine's Day but they come in this little cute baggie and they come to to a bag from the Freeman brand which is more than a dollar other places and in this pack this one is called this one is soothing watermelon and aloe cooling cooling gel mask um, that's the green one and then the second one is the polish polishing charcoal and black sugar gel mask in scrub so that's what is in this sack right here then in this one this one is um, rejuvenating cucumber and pink salt clay mask and then the other is clearing sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask that one that one I'm excited to use I like the combination of these two right here so I got those 
two right there to a package for a dollar each, which that makes me happy. And then I grabbed these just because I love, if I don't even like cool them in the refrigerator and put them all in my eyes, just to play with them and manipulate them is fun. So I grabbed these and there is a two piece for your eyes, hot, cold iPads. But they're these really, really pretty hearts with the confetti inside. And even if you don't use them for your eyes, you can use them to just mess with, play with, um, you know, rub in your hands. It's like a, a sensory type of thing, especially for somebody that has anxiety like I do, um, to manipulate something in my hands if I'm feeling anxious is a big help to me. So I, I may use one for like a, a night where I'm doing a mask, then, you know, lay down and like cool one of these off and put them on my eyes to take care of any swelling or, or things like that around my eyes. And then just play with the other one in my hand if I need it. So those are really cute and I haven't seen those before. They're still putting out new and different stuff in the Valentine's Day section all the time. I wish that they would just get all the stuff together at once, honestly, and just put it out so that you can just see what is going to be available for Valentine's Day. Because you go the first round and you grab a bunch of stuff to decorate your house with. Then you go back like a week or two later, there's a whole new sets of stuff out. And it's like, damn, I would have probably put that up instead of the last thing that I bought or, you know, bought in a few of this and bought in a few of that. So they like to tease you a lot at the Dollar Tree. And that's why you always got to stay looking because you never know what's going to pop up there. I did get myself another pair of these Snugadoo black fuzzy socks with the sparkly flex in them, which these are one of my favorites. Um, I do have another pair of these, so I wanted to get myself a backup. This brand is fantastic. I buy my socks from the Dollar Tree regularly, um, and I love them. So if you want cute fuzzy socks and these would be pretty in like a red and black type of like basket for valentine's day if you're going to do something for like your mom or your grandmother or your wife or girlfriend or your kids um uh, you know your daughter what have you a cute pair of like fuzzy socks in there and those are pretty and then i grabbed myself some scrunchie here and i love this really light gray um, with the ribbed look, I love it, but they did have, I think another five different color options as well. I lined them up and I took a picture of them again, just in case anybody is new to my channel and is watching this as their first video ever. Um, just a few hauls ago, I announced that at the end of all of my Dollar Tree hauls, I will be posting pictures of the things that I find that I believe and feel are well worth a dollar. Um, but I may not need for myself personally, but just to be able to show you what I've seen, I will post pictures that will play at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see the rest of the items that I did not pick up and show you on the haul. Um, so there were like another five options of colors that were really quite pretty, but for some reason, the gray just stuck out to me. I don't have any gray scrunchies and I grabbed this one and left the rest. So that's that. Then I also grabbed this cute little hair clip from that brand right there. I don't even know how to say that brand, honestly. I would want to say scrunchy, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but I grabbed that hair clip there because I've been trying to wear my hair down when I'm not working because I have it up all the time so tight to keep it away from me. Um, and I'm trying to like find other ways to like just keep it back off of my face. Speaking of hair stuff, I grabbed this because I dress up all the time for all the holidays. I like to be festive and I grabbed this because how more how much more festive can you get with this thing on your head for St. Patrick's Day? 
with the rainbow, the pot of gold, the, the beautiful little cloud on the side, and it says Irish. And I have quite a bit of Irish in me, so um, I will be wearing this to work to entertain my co-workers and my bosses, to which they love my attire on a daily basis. So I needed to grab some more options for St. Patrick's Day, which will be coming, and I grabbed that for myself to wear to work for my peeps. That's what I'm doing with that. Then I grabbed this hair coloring and these two colors just showed up um, recently, but I do have two packages of a really, really pretty turquoise blue as well, but these are just as pretty as the turquoise blue. So these are semi-permanent hair color and this one is the purple one's a violet one tube of hair color um and then the other one is blush rose so i thought maybe just to play around i mean i don't know i'm adventurous i mean look at me you know dressing and all that and i really don't really do too much to my hair so maybe if i wanted to run some streaks through my hair um just on a random weekend and see what happens i grab these to try just to kind of have fun with and i do have my other two turquoise ones in the same brand that i also have to try so maybe springtime i'll have different colored hair or streaks in my hair with this in it when i give it a shot and i guess you will see how i like it then so i grab those then i grab myself some more of my favorite bolero which is a brand that primarily comes out at the Dollar Tree, I believe. And this is hydrating and cleansing facial wipes with the watermelon and aloe. They do have so many different scents of these wipes, but I prefer and almost only get the watermelon with aloe. And there's a 30 count in here. I use these every night to wash down my face really good before I apply like a mask or anything like that to my face to kind of... Um, get the get the work day off of me and these are definitely my favorite to like get all of that moving off of my face now this I've seen so many people comment on this on the YouTube channels that I personally watch watch and this is a makeup vanishing towel and I guess something like this sells normally for about 10 or more dollars I guess and it's supposed to, without doing anything to it, take your makeup clear off your face with no problem. So it's just this little towel inside. Um, and I'm going to give it to my mom, so I'm not going to unpackage it. But I have seen it, and it's like just a little circular towel. comes in this really pretty pink. And this would be cute if you're going to make some type of a set for Valentine's Day for somebody that you love. A little makeup towel and it's supposed to clear everything off of your face without anything added to this towel so I guess I'm gonna give it to her and see how she likes it and then I will let you know so I grabbed that as well I also grabbed these which are really neat my mom bought a few I bought a few uh, so I'm just gonna show them to you I grabbed these and these are soaps so this is antibacterial hand soap and watermelon scent but um, really honestly it's just the packaging that got me because I have so much soap it's like not even funny I definitely did not need to replenish the stash that is for sure I have more than enough but the packaging is just a lot of fun and that is really cute to put in a gift basket as well for like a sanitizing type of um, cleanliness basket to which Corona is still alive and well, unfortunately. So if you're giving the gift of cleanliness, I would look for these because that would be fun to put in a Valentine's Day basket. So I grabbed three of the watermelon ones because those were definitely by far my favorite. Um, look to the bottle but then I also grabbed a lemon and a mandarin scented soap as well so 
there are those and aren't they cute and I mean that's a decent size for hand soap then I grabbed myself some new ribbon and I don't really um, want I didn't really want to get into buying anything for like Easter yet but I saw these ribbon and I just had to have them so this really really pretty um, Robin like blue ribbon is, is so beautiful and then the, these right here with Easter eggs all over it and some bunnies and the, all the pastel colors all of these are the three yards of the ribbon yep all four of them so I grabbed those so that while I'm making an East, Easter wreath whether it's one two three or four um, you never know with me with wreaths once I get started it's kind of hard for me to stop with my creativity I kind of go a little ham with the whole process and then I just I just run with it so that's that that's all I got for like the Easter perspective of the store then I found that belt and this is like just a regular belt that you would find like at Walmart or Target or whatever and American accessories and this is 34 and it's reversible which is the size that Richie needs and it's just a black belt and you know it's got the I mean it's just a belt it's a normal men's belt and it was at the Dollar Tree there was a whole wall of them and I was like oh hey but that that's it it was a dollar and something like this normally is like eight to fourteen dollars at Walmart so I got him a belt I got him a belt at the Dollar Tree that's like a regular belt so that's that's that then I grabbed this towel which is so cute I couldn't stand it and this is shenanigans with my nomies that's what it says shenanigans with my gnomies and it's got the three gnomes on there and so these towels I normally just throw over my handle to my stove and we don't use them they're my decorative towels so I don't I I just don't use them I just use them for decorations on the stove um, and that one couldn't be any cuter if it tried it's double sided so you can put it either way and it's gonna say and look the same way so I grabbed that for my stove which I thought was adorable then I also got these three dry shampoos I don't know what is going on in that in that hair section there but they have got all kinds of things going on these last few months with like regular products that you would buy other places for way more than a dollar so this is L'Oreal and it says Extor Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo with Clay in Spray, which I don't know what that means. And it says three refined clays, absorbs oil at the root, instant purity and freshness. And it's a four ounce bottle. So I grabbed three of them because I don't personally use dry shampoo, but my mom will use it every couple of days. Um, just to texturize their hair or something like that. The boys might uh, use it, you know. Isaiah certainly has really thick hair. So I grabbed three of them for them to give it a try. And it smells good because I spritzed a little bit and it does smell good. Sorry, my legs are falling asleep. I have been working my behind off. I am telling you, I have never been so busy and I'm always I've always been like a really active busy person but work is is on fire <laughs> Valentine's Day is no joke I have been making bouquets like nobody's business and we have been trying to hire so desperately for help and nobody wants to work which is really concerning so um we're strapped if anybody's looking for a job and you want to contact me let me know because we need help um it is just madness so 
my back has been hurting my legs have been hurting my ankles have been hurting my hips it's been a it's been a long week and I'm still going so it's not over yet and it probably won't be over for the next few weeks I will never look at Valentine's Day the same ever again. I give everybody props to the energy and effort that it takes to pull off a Valentine's Day. That's for sure. I never really was that big into Valentine's Day personally myself. I just, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a cutesy day. I'm not really like a romantic, like wine me and dine me type of person. I like to kind of just chill. <laughs> and when I can, that sounds fun to me and romantic. It's just like, take me for a long ride with a coffee and like let's talk and listen to cool jams like type of girl I don't really need stuff um to make me feel loved so this is like this is crazy the amount of flowers that people apparently buy for the holiday season and I also like just a bouquet of like really nice balloons that's like I'm good with that and go to the Dollar Tree for them too. Don't you dare spend more than a dollar on one of those balloons. That would make me happy. Three balloons. Take me for a ride with a coffee. Preferably to the ocean front or a mountainous area. And let's look at something cool. Happy Valentine's Day. That's that's it. <laughs> so um this right here, is that not the coolest most sizable gift box I have ever seen the Dollar Tree carry for a um, not wooden but like cardboard type of box so they had a whole wall of these and again at the end there will be a picture of the variety of colors that they came in but I got the black one with the polka dots and the stripes on it just because in my room it was kind of visually tying it into the rest of it and I will put probably some of my handmade bracelets in here um, and set them like vertically on the shelf to store them and I just thought it was really pretty but this is a really really nice gift box and there was like a really good variety of options for color schemes so you'll see that picture at the end if you want to look through those then um, here right here right here these are the cutest storage bins I ever did see so I got the smaller ones because I'm going to hold my soaps in it on my kitchen sink um, not my, kitchen, my bathroom sink I'm going to unbox all of them and kind of stack them and line them up and um, arrange them in these two little containers here and this is the you know the look of it but there are two in here what I will tell you is I don't know if these were meant to be two for a dollar because it doesn't specify on here anywhere that these are two for a dollar so but they do come zip tied together but the lady at the register which I didn't notice until after charged me twice so even though they're zip tied together, she swiped it twice. So I ended up paying two. But check and see if you're going to go look for these if you have the zip tie on it. Because then I'm assuming that they all have the zip tie on it. I didn't notice until the very end, so I didn't get to check it. But make sure of that before you ring out. You're paying attention if you get this smaller size. But they have a whole arrangement of this exact style and a bunch of different sizes and colors that are kind of like this muted cool tone type of colors and like pinks and blues and creams and a really beautiful gray so I grabbed these but I definitely wanted more but I wasn't just gonna buy them to buy them like I have to figure out what I would put in them and where I would be storing them and where they would look the best in the house I grabbed these because I knew I needed them for the soaps on the sink so that's that but there will be an, a picture included at the end of the whole wall of these things and all their different sizes so you can look through that and see it they have these cute little you know little hand little handle cutouts on the side so you can pick them up 
they have them on the bigger options as well so I thought that these were really pretty and I wanted to show you so that you could go look for them if you need some storage they have new stuff out for that then I also grabbed some more frames I explained a few hauls ago that I'm going to be making some shadow boxes um, for my seashells sand dollars things like that that I've that I have collected throughout the years but I found these really 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 pretty gray frames and the frame section has been killing it lately they have been coming out with so many different options um, for sizing and you know just the frames look different the coloring to them is different they kind of were very basic frames for a really long time but they've definitely upped their frame game at the Dollar Tree so I grabbed these and I'm going to remove the glass if you haven't watched my previous hauls where I've talked about it I'm going to remove the glass and make like a 3d look with my seashell sand dollars and possibly even some sand at the bottom to make a base for the seashells to sit on and I loved this gray color so I got three of them then I also got three of these which these are so beautiful and they have that little depth to them so that it's kind of like a little shadow box look anyways it has the blue and then the gold trim around the edges yep they're there so I grabbed three of these as well um, and I think they're so pretty and I cannot wait to start that project I just need time to be able to do it and I can't wait to get some more time going so that I can get that done. That would be awesome. Now, where should I go from here? Okay, I only, I'm only gonna do this for another probably four minutes um, so that I don't pass the 55 mark for the actual haul and the videos, the pictures will um, play at the end. Because this is my once a week Dollar Tree haul and this is usually the time frame that it kind of wraps up. So I grabbed these right here and then these are called wall mount wire racks from the tool bench brand and I call it the men's section. Um, but I grabbed these because I need to put some stuff together and um, make some more like organizational space to hang coats and sweaters and things like that. So I grabbed two of these to put in my back hallway and screw them into the wall so that I can use this to kind of display that um, with our coats and all of our sweaters that we're wearing through these extraordinarily cold days, which we have hit like the teens and I think it was two degrees and three degrees, three degrees three degrees the last two days so it's been a little tough um the cold department it's definitely winter it's definitely winter guys so that's really it um, i'll show you this as the last thing this is a stylus pen it's a six in one stylus pen and i hauled one for richie um during christmas time and isaiah wanted one so i actually ended up finding another one and it is a pen a stylus a ruler a leveler and a phillips screwdriver oh and a flathead screwdriver all in one pen and i think that's pretty cool for a dollar so i grabbed him that and that is going to be it i do have more stuff as i normally do but I'm going to keep it for the next haul. We've hit our time frame for the week. I hope that you're all doing absolutely fantastic. I hope everybody is well and happy and healthy and whole and blessed and loved and kind to one another and everybody is feeling great. I hope that you have a beautiful blessed week. I may or may not do another haul this week. Last week I did get to do two hauls back to back which was good. Um, my time frames are just like hit or miss. So this is definitely the one that I know will post every single week during either a Saturday or a Sunday, every single week. And if I can get you another haul, I sure will. Um, I hope that you're all amazing. And I hope that you have a beautiful, happy, warm week. And if I don't see you again this week, 
I will see you next weekend. So I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Bye.